All right, what's going on everybody? Gaby Card Stacks here. Just got to the Front Row Sports Card Show. I think I'm in the right place. I don't know, this show kind of popped up on Instagram out of thin air, really. I didn't really know about it until this week. Considering the state show is next week, and this is supposed to be a 200 card or 200 table card show, I'm curious who's gonna be there. I feel like people are saving their money for the state show. I feel like dealers are saving their inventory, so curious what this will look like but gonna go ahead and go inside and see what's going on looking for nfl prism second third year guys colored numbered auto stuff i'm really getting into that bowman university basketball march madness starts next week selection sunday so that's been super hot for me and then of course bowman university football as always so gonna go inside see what happens and let's make some money so here is some GoPro footage of me just digging through some bins looking for some football. And to be honest, this show was not very good. This was the first time that it was in Phoenix. I guess it's some group who has based out of Vegas and expanded into LA and now going into Phoenix. $10 admission, so I was very skeptical from the beginning. Super long line to get in, and then once you get in, you quickly find out that it is 70% Pokemon, comics, memorabilia, uh, just not a lot of sports in general. So that was disappointing to see from the start. And then about 30 minutes into the show, it was just packed. It was shoulder to shoulder. People, you, know, you just couldn't move. And people are trying to get to the table and move, you know, from table to table. It was just not a good setup. It was advertised as a 200 table show. It was maybe 80 tables, maybe 100. I don't know, it didn't seem like there were a ton of tables and the space was super tight. It was just really tough to uh, to walk around. Luckily at the time that I was at this table, there weren't a lot of people, but um, it got busy very, very quickly. So um, just not great from that perspective. I posted about it on Instagram and I heard a lot of the same comments. A lot of people were disappointed with the show. So who knows, they're supposed to be back. Maybe it gets better, but I don't think I'll go back the second time until I know it's good. But nonetheless, I'm going through this bin. A lot of good color, numbered stuff. Um, you know, A lot of good names in here, but decided to pass on a lot of it. I'm sure I could have gone back to this dealer and worked out a bulk deal and gotten a lot of these prices down, especially after I worked out my first deal with them but I tried to go back to this table several times I probably walked around two to three times um, but just not any room at all uh, this was also one of the few with NFL prism in the boxes and tables so uh, I imagine it was a pretty popular table as well and, and tough to find room in so here I pick out that Jalen Ramsey green ice that's on top uh, and then I also find a green ice Devonte Smith they were unmarked one of the few cards that were unmarked so I was hopeful that it was like a dollar or two um, and just wanted to pull those out to the side. Green ice, very short printed. Jalen Ramsey, kind of a nice color match there. So I like those. And then in the third row of the showcase, right above the Bijan, there's a Jamar Chase blue ice to 99. He had 20 bucks on it. I ended up getting the three cards for 25 bucks total, uh, which I thought was a very good deal. This next table was the best at the show for me. Just a lot of the numbered, colored, prism stuff. I pick up this Chase Brown to 149, and they just got a ton of stuff that it's just fun to dig through. Uh, I pick up these Michael Wilson and Tajay Spears green pulsars for two bucks a piece. Thought that's a good deal. I really like Michael Wilson. I'm high on him for next year. And then in this next scene, I've got my stack. I'm super off centered. I apologize. In my next video, I'll get it right. But I end up coming away with a nice little stack green ice, prisms, things like that. So let's get to that in my pickups right here. All right. So back from the show, going to run through everything that I picked up and talk about what I've found and, and how much I paid for it. So uh, this first deal I got for $25. This Devontae Smith green ice green ice super short printed i've talked about it a little bit i just thought you know it was worth a shot a, a star player with a green ice as a short print the inserts aren't as short printed as the regular cards so not as great it's about a two dollar card but this jalen ramsey this is a good pickup the last one sold for about 10 ish i'm the only one available at 20 dollars right now so i feel good about that a, a color ish match so we'll see what happens with that, but that was $3. And then this Jamar Chase Blue Ice to 99. These are beautiful parallels. He said he was firm on this price because he was probably gonna send it to grading if it didn't sell uh, at this show. It does about 20 bucks. So maybe I'll have it you know, looked at for grading, I don't know, but 
I just thought for 25 bucks, I just wanted to get a deal done. Um, you know, you always got to try to try to get the deals rolling early. So um, that was deal one and really one of the only tables that I stopped at uh, during this whole time. So deal two uh, was with a different vendor um, and they just had, you know, a bunch of stacks of cards as you saw in, in the pickups. Um, so we're going to run through these. Michael Wilson, Green Pulsar, that was $2 in this Tajay Spears two dollars derrick henry is not coming back to the titans it was reported a few days ago so his stuff has kind of spiked it's also been a little bit high because people anticipated derrick henry not coming back so that i think was doing closer to like eight dollars chase brown is someone who is pretty pricey uh and i got this for five dollars i knew it was a good deal as soon as i saw it number to 149 for whatever reason he's got quite a market i think he's from illinois um, you know, I don't know if people are, are done with Mixon or what the case is, or if he showed some promise towards the end of the year. But when I've been doing my research, I've noticed that his prices are fairly high. Uh, and then got a couple of, of uh, Pinky Nakas here, Puka Nakua. Uh, these were five bucks a piece. I thought that was a good deal. They do somewhere-ish, five to ten dollars. So I was fine with that. Then these Wemby Prisms out of Draft. These were ten a piece. Uh, and I just thought that, you know, that was a little too low for, for Wemby. Um, they range anywhere from 10 to 20 though. Um, and then a couple of, of loose cards here. Uh, Drake London Green Ice, again, short printed. These are one per retail boxes. Uh, so just super hard to come by. Drake London, uh, we'll see what happens this year with the quarterback situation. Peter Skronsky out of uh, Northwestern. I think he was like number 11 overall in the draft. All American guys, so you know, offensive lineman not desirable, but I think Green Ice helps. And Wes Welker, uh, one of the greatest of all time. I think I'm the only one available. I think I listed this for 19.99, so we'll see what happens. So all this stickered for 45, uh, and then I asked about this Jalen Petrie Gold Prism Rookie Auto, number to 10. They had a stickered at 50. Um, with the stat combined, they offered 70. So I thought that was a really good deal. I listed this for like 100, 120. Um, so I think that can make my money off stack. This is really going to be the only winner of the show um, for the time being. I have to grind out these, but I think the, the Jalen Petrie will be a nice ad. So walked around the entire show again, didn't see anything I liked, went back to this second table and picked up a few more things that I think I missed and just in general uh, wanted to pick up. Roshan Johnson, I went back and forth on this, but I love the color match. I love orange ice. It's the Fanatics exclusive. That was stickered at five. Uh, this Aaron Donald blue ice. I love, love, love blue ice. 1099, this was 10. Auctions do under that. There's one listed at like $11. I just think it's a cool parallel, one of the greatest of all time. Uh, another Pinky Naka that uh, I skipped and then two more green ice so Darius smith i think these you know aren't doing much maybe four bucks and then kj henry i have no idea who this is but uh, i think as cheapest is like nine or ten so i'm at like six or seven so that was 120 dollars worth of buys at the show um you know nothing too crazy i just you know wanted to, to try to make some deals and nfl prism was really the only thing that caught my eye at these two tables i guess those two wemby's you know, going to grind these out, list them and, and see what happens. But you know, overall, not a great show, but you know, it happens sometimes. So uh, if you enjoyed drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.